what is going on youtube it's your boy spanko you guys can see i'm actually just outside of locals typically i start my vlogs before i get to locals but uh we have sneak peek starting at 12 and i kind of slept in a little bit too much today it's 11 55 so sneak is about to start in like five minutes and in today's video essentially it's going to be a sneak peek vlog i'm gonna show you guys the pack opening i'm gonna show you guys some of the duels and we'll see how today goes now if you guys enjoy these videos make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu Gi Oh content just like this one the local vlogs are back baby i'm excited and dune is going to be such a really cool set so i'm excited for today's sneak peek i'm gonna be honest though let me show you guys inside because even though there's only five minutes left it's uh, kind of quiet. It's typically really busy on these kind of sneak peek days. But if you guys see, like, it's, uh, it's not really anyone here right now. So maybe this is going to be a fun, quick, chill sneak peek day, which is different because it's so busy usually. But you know what? I kind of like it being quiet. I kind of like the idea of it just being a small day with the boys hanging out. But with that being said, though, I'm going to get my deck ready because, again, we got like five or so minutes till we start. I'm going to get my pack, sign up, and then I'll see you guys when we do the pack opening. It turns out they're starting a little bit late because there's some people who were just told them they would show up a little bit late, which is nice because more people are coming. But at the same time, your boy got a fuel up, get some McDonald's. So we're going to eat real quick and then we're gonna go XO today. I didn't even tell you guys what we're playing. We're playing Dino Morphia today. All right, so we got five packs of Duelist Nexus over here. Let's get into it. We're gonna pull a quarter century. We're gonna pull a quarter century. Jordan's not here. Jordan typically gives us our packs. And when we, uh, when Jordan gives it to us, we typically pull really good. Last time, last sneak, Jordan gave us packs and we literally pulled two secret rares from our packs. This time, I don't know if that's gonna happen, but we will. Oh, we pulled a Lars. Okay. I was actually gonna say this is the one card I didn't wanna pull because one of my boys actually picked one up for me, but it's still a really cool secret rare. At least we did pull a secret rare, which is nice. Let's see if we can pull an ultra. We got four more packs to go. I wonder if a quarter century takes up the spot of a secret rare. I don't think it does. So technically, there's still potential. And your finished super rare over here. All right. I have not even taken a good look at this set, to be honest with you. I only really know what the secret rares are. Um, so I have to take a proper look at all. Ooh, and Angelica, Princess of the Noble Arms. Nice. Good ultra rare. So we pulled an ultra and a secret. Can't complain about that, honestly. In six packs, pulling an ultra and a secret is really, really good. Let's see if we can pull one more card, maybe. Something here pretty good. There's nothing I specifically need from this set. Red Eyes Black Meteor is pretty cool. And Revolution Synchron would be cool, but I mean, we did pull a secret already. So uh, let's see if we can pull on our last pack that quarter century rare. Let's just hit a quarter century rare, right? Nothing. All right, well, at least we hit the Lars, which is really cool. It's also fitting because we're dino players. So I'm actually really happy with this. This card is insane for the deck. Guys, I'm running away, I'm running away, I'm running away. Okay, listen, I just, I just finished my round two and we're moving on to round three. I literally haven't vlogged at all. And the reason for that is because in Dinomorphia, we're literally playing a deck that always goes into time. And um, I won my, uh, so I won my round two. My round one was actually a tie. I actually was winning, I was going to win my round one. Okay, let me tell you guys, I was gonna win my round one, but I was playing against Fur Hire Runic Sprite. And the thing is with that deck is that deck just keeps putting monsters on the board. So even though I'm down in life points, I had a Rexdrum and a Theresia on board. And then he banished off the top of my deck all my other names. So I couldn't use any of the other traps like my domain and whatnot. So I was just trying to push for Theresia and Rexdrum over and over and over. And I just, I didn't have enough. So we ended up tying because he just keeps putting monsters on the board. And then my round two, we actually played against Vlandries. Normal? Everything on normal? Yeah, I'll turn one chance. I'll just go chain gold too. Yeah. Well, Zen is noxious. Yeah, that's all she wrote. Yeah. And we won our round two, which was pretty cool. So we're one zero one right now, moving into round three. I think there's four rounds today, and I'm feeling pretty good. That ultra rare noble knight card, we ended up trading for an ulti ray. So now I have an ulti ray, which is kind of cool. But yeah, that's the quick update. I promise I'm gonna give you guys a better update. I haven't even had time to eat yet, so I got food and I haven't even had time to eat. My round three just started, so I have to run back over there because I'm wasting time and I don't want to go into time again. So I'll see you guys after round three. So going into our round three, we actually end up playing against Blackwing and our opponent doesn't open so well. You guys are gonna see he ends on a Zephyros and a Blackwing Dragon. Now, I didn't open super well either, but we had the Super Poly, so we were able to break the board and on Starving Venom. And you guys are gonna see that I actually misplay really hard here, which I'll talk about later. But essentially, I could have had a Rexstrom here as well. Just uh, forgot that I had intact set, which kind of sucks. But luckily, our opponent didn't really have much to go with and couldn't really out the Starving Venom. And you guys are gonna see here the Ferret Flames shuffles 
throws everything back into his deck, which means that I can now get my Rexstrom on board for free. And having a skill drain on board is pretty insane, especially against Blackwing, where all their effects are essentially happening on field. So at this point, I'm at like 500 life points or something. So Catchagena is pretty big here. I get to make the second Rexstrom, and he tries to survive by getting bodies on the board, but it doesn't really do much, and I end up going for game. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right guys. So we just finished our round three. I have a couple minutes to vlog now, so I'm gonna talk to you guys. Uh, we won our round three. We won in two games. It was really close. I almost entered the whole thing. Like I almost threw the entire round. I go activate domain. I have intact set. My opponent goes ash, and I'm just like, oh, okay, whatever. He has ash. Bro, I had the intact, man. I misplayed, but I actually ended up winning that because uh, he couldn't draw enough monsters essentially to hit me for game. And then I drew a frenzy, frenzy into Rex Drum, and it was just way too good. But Blackwing is actually a legit deck, man. That deck has a lot of gas. And shout out Dante, bro. He's a really good pilot. Like, I'm gonna be honest, I was watching him play, and I'm like, this guy really knows what he's doing. But so, yeah, we took our round three. So we're X01 right now. I think X1 and above gets prizing. So we have to win our next round, which is a little bit stressful, but I think we can make it happen. Dino Morphe is a legit, legit deck. And I'm gonna be showing you guys the deck profile later if I haven't showed you guys already in the vlog, because I haven't had the chance to actually sit down and film a quick one. But uh, I'll show you guys somewhere in the video. It might have already passed at this point. Who knows? But let's get into our round four, final round, and let's see if we can just top things off, man. I'm excited. It's a good day. It's a good day for us, and uh, it's a fun locals, which I really like. So this is my final round against Rescue Ace, and you guys are going to see we're going to be able to summon Theresia and then set 5 here, which is absolutely insane. Now we hit Anti-Spell, so we're going to go Anti-Spell. He chains his Quick Play spells, but I wanted to do this on purpose to get them out of his hand. And now at this point, we're going to end on Rexstrom. It's just way too much for him. Oh, baby. Right? right. So, okay, Dre, Dre's playing around with it. Dre's playing around with it. Stop moving it! Stop moving it! Anyways, guys. Oh, right there, right there. A lot in the mirror. You guys see it right there. First place, baby. I'm excited. We went X01 today, so technically not undefeated. Uh, we did tie, but X01 is insane, to be honest. And we're playing with Dinomorphia, so expect a deck profile because this is going to be so lit. I think this deck is insane. It played into everything. Our rounds were pretty much all meta, I would say. I mean, Fluandries is kind of debatable, but this is insane. I'm so happy with Dinomorphia. And honestly, if you don't misplay with this deck, I think this deck is crazy. But uh, there are definitely times where you misplay. Oh, how yo, the Jordan. Board, how the yeah, yeah, so actually, here. I said this earlier in the vlog. Mm -hmm. I was like, Jordan's not here today. He usually gives us the good pulls, the best pulls. I pulled a secret rare. It wasn't okay. the best. It was a Lars. So I'm not mad. But uh, Jordan, if you were here, I know I would have pulled the TCR. I just came back from vacation. That's yeah, why I'm I know. here. But it's okay. I actually mentioned you earlier. I was like, yo. I wish Jordan was here. But yeah. <laughs> well, I'm back for the end of it. And I won. So that's why. Hey. Maybe I won because you were here. <laughs> I came in up less your good luck the end. He came in and he was like, hey, Lion. I was like, hey, Jordan. And then now we're on top. <laughs> Anyways, that was, a good, that was a good run. I got it. I got it. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I dropped this. Anyways, uh, it was a good run. It was a good run. I'm I'm actually really happy with the results. I think uh, it went really well. Again, I really like these kind of locals. It did get a lot busier, like you guys can see. Like it got a lot busier. So it's not it's not just like the five people that was here at the beginning. Because I know someone's gonna say something like, "Oh, it was the ten person locals." It wasn't ten people. It was more. Okay. Anyways, that's all I gotta say. Wow, I'm excited. Pull them, pull them out. Just pull them out, guys. I know we just won with Dynamorphia. There's only one. I thought there was three. Oh no! I don't know guys, I want to do it. Do it. No, stop being a bad influence. It's a lot of money. They're so pretty though. Come on, you know you wanna. Okay, actually you know what, I will do it. Alright, bye. We did it. We done did it. Oh my god, it's raining. Oh no, it's raining. Anyways, guys, I don't even care about the rain. I'm, I'm a champion. I am the champion. I'm excited bro. That was a good day. Man, I haven't played locals in so long. I legit haven't, I think, played in a proper locals in some time. And I'm gonna get in my car and then talk to you guys because it's freaking it's getting wet. Oh. oh my god. Thank you guys all for watching though. I'm gonna be honest with you, that was a good day. I know I'm kind of it's just the locals, it wasn't too big, it was just a sneak peek. But it feels good because I haven't lost my touch. Like that's literally what it is. I just haven't lost my touch by the way. My throat, if I sound weird, I'm kinda sick. Yeah, that was a good day. I'll give you guys a deck profile soon. Get you guys everything you guys want to see. I know you guys are going to want to see it. And hopefully I had some good footage of the duels. I know my phone died at one point, so I don't know if I got all the footage. But I'll give you guys some footage at least of everything. So thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. I hope you guys have a wonderful day.
and i am really appreciative of you guys and i thank you guys all make sure to like and subscribe if you guys have not already because we're on the road to 12k i think we're close to 12k now and i couldn't be here without every single one of you so thank you guys all for watching i appreciate every single one of you with that spank goes side and out peace